love and kindness of the Lord filleth the whole world. Hallelujah. By the word of the Lord, the, Lord, the heavens were established. Alleluia, alleluia. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous. For it becometh well of the just to be thankful. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As, As it, it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and ever shall be, be world without end. Amen. The loving kindness of the Lord filleth the whole world. Alleluia. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were established. Alleluia. Alleluia. Lady God, into whom all hearts be open, desires know that from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit. We may perfectly love and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, Lord our God is one Lord. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, with all thy mind and with all thy strength. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And these two commandments in all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us and write both these thy laws in our hearts, we beseech thee. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory be to God in high, and in earth peace of will towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord. Thou only, O Christ with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, we beseech thee mercifully to hear us. Grant that we, to whom thou hast given, hearty desire to pray. May by thy mighty aid be defended, comforted in all dangers and adversities. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, you never fail us to help and govern them, and thou dost bring up in thy steadfast fear and love. And possibly beseech thee under the protection of thy good providence. Bring us to have a perpetual fear and love of thy holy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Let us pray. Mighty God, who has given thy only Son to be unto us both a sacrifice for sin, and also an example of godly life, give us grace that we may always most thankfully receive. That is an estimable benefit. And also daily endeavor ourselves to follow the blessed steps of his most holy life. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The epistle is written in the second chapter of the first epistle of St. Peter, beginning at the 19th verse. This is thankworthy, the man for conscience toward God and your grief, suffering wrongfully. What glory is it if, when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently? But if, when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with God. For even hereunto were ye called, as Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example, that ye should follow his steps, who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. For when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously. For his own self bare our sins in his own body on the tree. We being dead to sins, to live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. For ye were as sheep going astray, but are now returned to the shepherd and bishop of your souls. Here endeth the epistle.
I know my sheep and I'm known of mine. Alleluia. Good shepherd has risen. Who had given his life for his sheep. Alleluia. The gospel is written in the 10th chapter, the gospel according to St. John, beginning at the 11th verse. Glory, Glory be to thee, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is an hireling, and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them, and scattereth the sheep. Hireling fleeth because he is an hireling, and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father. I lay down my life for the sheep. But other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring. They shall hear my voice, and there shall be one shepherd. Praise, Praise be to thee, O Christ. <clears throat> I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and ascended at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again in glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeded from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. The Good Shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. People either love lamb or hate it. Some people love lamb with a little mint sauce on the side while well, others cannot stand it. Wool, on the other hand, is less controversial. Almost all of us welcome the coziness, the warmth, and softness. My mind goes to roast lamb and sweaters today for obvious reasons, I hope. The gospel and epistle talk about shepherds and sheep. When we think of sheep, many of us think of good food, fine clothing. We need to remember that people did not, and still generally, do not keep sheep as family pets, except for the exception of the run of the litter. Shepherds were not running shelters for lost sheep. They were raising a flock for fleecing, slaughter. The sheep give their lives to the shepherd. This is how it works in the world. We have grown accustomed to the image of the Good Shepherd in all ages, one of the most popular representations of Christ. And in fact, it is the oldest discovered image of Jesus, the shepherd of the cosmos, the whole creation, and the catacombs of Rome. That we miss the radical way in which Jesus redefines shepherding. When our gospel says, the good shepherd giveth his life to the sheep, this is nothing short of a complete reversal of good shepherding. We need to plumb the depths of this mystery. What is the gospel of how God saves us in Christ? And it is the example Jesus leads us to follow. Most of us pick friends and end up friends with people at least to start because we enjoy their company, we share common interests, and they have been and are kind to us. 
That is, we get something out of the relationship. But Jesus radically redefines friendship for us. It's not about mutual backscratching, not about what we receive, but what we give, not about what we can get, but what we can offer. Jesus tells us there's no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. Our Lord's ministry was one in which he led by example, the good shepherd leading his sheep, by walking ahead of it, going before it. By the way, the sheep do not decide for themselves where they're going to go each day. They don't discuss among themselves whether a flock they should feed as a flock they should feed that day in the north or south pasture. Instead, they follow the shepherd. They don't need to discover the way. Just need to follow him. He is the way. So when our Lord Jesus told his disciples at the Last Supper to love one another as he loved them, he immediately demonstrated this new mandate by showing them the way. He girded himself as the lowliest household slave to wash their feet. He went on from there to show us the way even more fully. So Jesus, in the same way, radically redefines greatness and authority. Whosoever will be great among you, let him be your servant. Whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Even as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, give his life a ransom for many. Son of Man gives his life a ransom for many. Good Shepherd gives his life for the sheep. This is leadership. This is authority. This is the rule and kingdom of God. Truly good shepherd, not simply think of monetizing the sheep, but lay, down, lay himself down across the gate of the sheep pen, putting himself between the sheep, the wolf, and the lion, and the bear, that might want a lamb with or without mint sauce. Just as he says, I am the door of the sheepfold, I lay down my life for the sheep. Part of the amazement and wonder of this good shepherd image the way in which it conveys the tender care of God in Christ, but also how that was expressed in the death and resurrection of Jesus. In the verses which follow, where today's reading ended, Jesus says, Therefore, if my Father love me, as I lay down my life, I may take it up again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. The power to lay it down, the power to take it again. The willing death resurrection of Jesus Christ is our salvation. At the beginning of his ministry, he walks through the water of baptism, as all you have done in your time. Like Noah was saved from drowning in the ark, like the Hebrews passed through the Red Sea and the River Jordan. The Lord is my shepherd, who walks through the valley of the shadow of death, for us and with us, making a way for us into the house, the eternal presence of the Lord. He anoints us with his Holy Spirit prepares a table and cup for us, of which this Eucharist is a sweet foretaste, blessed assurance, the assurance of the inexpressible glory promised for us. Where we live now and ever, with God, creator and preserver of all things, of being, of space and time, one of us, with us, in being, in space and time. But the other wonder of this image of the Good Shepherd is how in it is contained and expressed how Christ is both the sacrifice for sin but also the example of godly life. In our call out, we're reminded about this point that Jesus is both the sacrifice for sin and the example of godly life. That we are therefore given in him with something to receive, something to follow. This is not an either or, but both and. It's fascinating to me that in the lectionary, the daily and Sunday scripture. This point is made both two weeks before and two weeks after Easter. Jesus came to serve, to give his life a ransom, and heard on Passion Sunday. Today, we, our readings recall how Christ gave his life for the sheep. He left us an example we should follow. Remember that it was on the night he was betrayed that Jesus had washed his disciples' feet. But he said to them, no doubt, not only thinking of that act of washing their feet, but also of his whole passion, death, and resurrection. I have given you an example. You should do as I have done to you. 
service and sacrifice, patience and humility. Jesus has left us an example, and we are his followers, his sheep for whom he has given his own life. Christian life, says Jesus, is about receiving and following him. His life given for us is life given to us to live in. May God in his mercy give us grace to trust and obey him, our good shepherd. This is the lamb that all of us love. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. And lift up thy hands in thy name. Hallelujah. Blessed be thou, Lord God of Israel, forever and ever. All that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. All, All things come of thee, and of thine own have we given thee. Let's pray for Christ's holy Catholic Church, all according to their needs. <coughs> May the an ever living God, by thy holy apostle Paul, invite us to make prayers and supplications. And thanks for all men. We beseech thee most mercifully to accept our relations. We see these are prayers. We offer the thy divine majesty. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. We beseech thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. Grant that all our unhappy divisions may be healed. All they that do confess thy holy name, they agree in the truth of thy holy word. With the unity of our love. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come out to thee. We beseech thee also to leave Iraq, Iran, Lebanon, Yemen, Sudan, Somalia, Syria, the Holy Land, Afghanistan, Korea, the United States, and all nations in the way of righteousness, so that guide and direct their governors and rulers, that thy people enjoy the blessings of health and safety, freedom, and peace. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come out to thee. And unto thy servant Elizabeth, our Queen, who all that are put in authority under her, country, province, and our city, that they may truly and impartially administer justice, the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee to be. Grace, O Heavenly Father, to John and Vicara, Patriarchs of Antioch, all those Catholicists of the Eucharist, Aaron, Patriarch of Cilicia, Irene, Patriarch of Serbia, Francis, Bishop of Rome, Justin, Archbishop of Canada, Linda, our Prime, Ronald, our Metropolitan, Diocese, and all bishops, priests, and deacons, and may both by their life and doctrine, more like true and living word, rightly and duly administer by holy sacraments. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. Prosper, we pray thee, Ralph Moore, in the parish of Milton and Rustico, parish of Kings County, Al Wagner, Bonnie Baird, and Christ True Charlotte, Catherine Borgogne, Walter Beasley, Harry Giles, and St. Andrew's Church, Cold Harbor. Ratcliffe in the parish of Eastern Passage, Michael Lewis, Diocese of Cyprus, the church in Jerusalem in the Middle East, and all who in life and death glorify thee, all who proclaim the gospel of thy kingdom in this diocese and among the nations, O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. To all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially the congregation of this cathedral church. Be hard and do reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word. Serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. Let's humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord. Comfort and succor our fellow parishioners. Sandra Webster, Gladys Stewart, Miss Locker, Muriel Pitt, Will Stench, Alfred Henry, William McFadden, Margot Wall, Achieve Farkees, Stephen Tooley, Susan Harris, Joseph Shannon, 
that gets a redemption. He's others for whom our prayers are also desired. It's Wilson, Heidi Morris, Judy McKay, Earl McDonald, Jack Wittick, Phil O'Neill, Terry Heller, Elizabeth Hill, Christopher Costain, Ann McNeil, and Furnace, Gordon Gill, all evil. Those bereaved by the recent shootings in Nova Scotia. Those who suffer from the COVID-19 virus. Those who are vulnerable to it, those who are isolated because of it, those who have a care of it. But all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity, we now name in our hearts. We'll hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. Remember before the opening, killed in the recent shootings in Nova Scotia. I.E. <coughs> Stevens, Sid McCulley, Susan McLeod, <coughs> Alana James, Emily Tuck, Sean McLeod, Jolene Oliver, Aaron Tuck, Jamie Blair, Greg Blair, Corey Ellison, Gina Goulet, Bagley, Kristen B. Joey Weber, Tristan, John Joseph Zell, Elizabeth Joanne Thomas, Lillian Campbell, Isler, Dawn Madsen, Frank Delaney, Heather O'Brien, Tori Wong, Peter Wong. Remember, as well as killed by the COVID-19 virus, all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear. Rest eternal bread under them, O Lord. And let light from thy churls shine upon them. As thy holy name, for Peter, our Peter. Apostles Philip and James, Athanasius, Doctor and Bishop, and all who in life and death have glorified thee, beseeching thee to give us grace. That rejoicing in their fellowship, we may follow their good examples, and be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. And so, Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate, whom with thee and the Holy Ghost we all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Amen. Ye that do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbors, we intend to lead the new life, following the commandments of God. Walk him from henceforth in his holy ways. Draw near with faith, take this holy sacrament to your home. Make your humble confession to Almighty God, meekly kneeling upon your knees. Mighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life to the honor and glory of thy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Mighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy and promised forgiveness of sins, to all them that with hearty repentance and faith turn unto him, mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, and confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and you in everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Through what comfortable words, our Savior Christ, said unto all that truly turn to him, Come unto me all that labor and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. So loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. The end that all that believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Hear also what St. Paul said, this is a true saying, worthy of all men to be received, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Hear also what St. John said, if any man sin, have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, that he is the propitiation for our sins. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them, them up unto the Lord. Let's give thanks unto our Lord God. It is made and right and so to do. Very me right in our bounds, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty everlasting God, creator and preserver of all things. But chiefly are we bound to praise thee for the glorious resurrection of thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is the very pastoral land which was offered for us taken away the sin of the world. By his death hath destroyed death, 
by his rising to life again, to restore to us everlasting life. Therefore, with angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, God and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Suffer death on the cross for our redemption, and bear like his one oblation himself once off, both perfect and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction of the sins of the whole world, and it institute in his holy gospel command us to continue perpetual memorial by his precious death until his coming again. Bless, so merciful Father, we most humbly beseech thee. Grant that we receiving these like creatures of bread and wine. According to thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, holy institution, remembrance of his death and passion, be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. When the same night that he was betrayed to bread, when he had given thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, eat. This is my body which is given for you. This in remembrance of me. <laughs> Once after supper, he took the cup. And giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Servants with all thy holy church. Remembering the precious death of thy beloved Son, his mighty resurrection, glorious ascension. Be for his coming again, Lord. Break before thee in this sacrament, holy bread of eternal life, and the cup of everlasting salvation, the memorial which he had committed. We entirely desire thy fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, and humbly beseeching to grant for the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ. Faith in his body. We had all life whole church and obtain remission of our sins, and all other benefits of his passion. And that by the power of thy Holy Spirit, we who are partakers of this holy communion, be fulfilled with thy grace and heavenly benediction. Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, honor and glory be unto thee, Father Almighty, and without end. Amen. As our Savior Christ commanded and taught us, the all to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. Do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, 
and our souls wash through his most precious blood and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Lamb of God, that take us away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, that take us away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, that take us away the sin of the world. Grant us thy peace. I am the good shepherd. Hallelujah. And know my sheep, and am known of mine. Hallelujah. 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 O the Lamb of God, hold him that taketh away the sin of the world. Lord, I am not worthy. Lord, I am not worthy. Lord, I am not worthy that thou come under my roof. But speak the word of me, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Mighty and ever living God, we most heartily thank thee. Thou dost graciously feed us in these holy mysteries, the spiritual food, the most precious body and life. Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, turning us thereby thy favor and goodness towards us, we are living members of his mystical body. It is a blessed company of all faithful people. We are also heirs through hope to thy everlasting kingdom. And here we, are we are offer and present Savior. unto thee, O Lord, ourselves our souls and bodies to be a reasonable holy and living sacrifice unto thee and although we are unworthy yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounded duty and service not weighing our merits but pardoning our offenses through jesus christ our lord to whom with thee and the holy ghost be all honor and glory world without end amen peace of god which passeth all understanding your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.